Hey everyone, before I start with the review, you can check the unboxing video of this printer in the, my previous video. I will leave the link um, in the description. So check it out. For a long time I've searched for a 3D printer as my main objective was just to play and experiment with some models. I was not gonna pay that much. So when I saw this printer at Gearbest and the price being a kit was even better for me as I like to assemble and that way I can learn every detail and how everything works. It was very easy to assemble but you need some kind of previous knowledge on this kind of stuff but assuming that you, you're gonna buy a kit that's the easy part. Uh, the wire connections took most of the time to arrange and pass all the cables in the best way possible and not stay that messy a lot of time but I think they are pretty much the best they can be for now I will arrange them better a little later leveling the bed was easy also I've never even used a 3D printer before it was very very easy the manual that comes with a printer explains how to do it but you can check many of the videos on the internet doing this so easy when it was time to connect the printer for the first time to the PC you must configure all as it comes on the manual then disconnect the printer from the power and reconnect it again for some reason with mine filament didn't come out while I didn't do this and the printer bed and extruder didn't eat up even after I set it in the printer sending the printer order the temperature the temperature starts lowering uh, as soon I start printing so after that and reconnecting all uh, it starts working fine and uh, using slicer does not work for me till now printer does not does all the moves as I send the print order but no filament uh, tried uh, several settings but no results a scura is working fine no problem maybe someone out there can help me with this I don't have a clue so we'll try that later um, print quality is very good I print all in 0.1 millimeters without any problems. I'm uh, still tweaking small things, creating profiles for each filament and I'm using the cheapest filament for now so it's as 3D print has a lot of trial and error I'm, for now I just use the cheapest and then I will pass for a better filament I'm new to all this but for now I'm very happy and for the price you can't get any better than this. In the next video I will show you my settings in Cura and configurations that I use. So see you next time.